In this video, you will learn about different activities that you can perform on the sales order in Zoho Inventory. Let's get started. In this video, we will cover the following topics. Once you create your sales order and send it to your customers, they will confirm this order after which you will have to bill them. Then, you can directly convert the sales order to an invoice. To do so, in the sales order module, select a sales order then click Convert to Invoice on the Sales Order page. All the details will be populated. You can make any changes if you wish. Now click Save as Draft if you want to edit it later or click Save and Send if you want to send it right away. You can now record a payment by clicking on the Record Payment button. Or you can also set a payment gateway and accept payments online. We will see about payment gateways in our upcoming videos. Suppose your customers have confirmed the details in the sales order and you instantly want to send an invoice, then you can also create an instant invoice from the sales order. To create an instant invoice, open the sales order, click the drop down next to create and select instant invoice. Now, let's see how to convert a sales order into a purchase order. Select the sales order. Click More and select Convert to Purchase Order. In this page, choose the vendor name. All the other details will be automatically fetched from the sales order. Now, click Save as Draft if you want to edit it later or click Save and Send if you want to send it right away. Once your order is invoiced, you can pack your items and deliver them to your customers. For this, you will need to create a package and ship it. Let's see how to do this. Click the sales order and select the package from the drop down next to the create button. Enter the package number and then you can either select or scan the items that are to be added. Now click save. You can now ship this package to your customers either manually or ship via shipping carriers. We will see this in detail in our upcoming videos. You can set preferences for your sales order by going to Settings Preferences Sales Order. You can mark these boxes based on which this would automatically be updated in the invoices. Here you can select when you want to close your sales order. You can either choose when an invoice is created or when a shipment is fulfilled or both. You can also enter the terms and condition and also enter customer notes if any. If you want to create additional fields, you can create them from the Field Customization tab. Here, you can create validation rules to validate your data and prevent users from performing certain actions. Click plus new validation rule and enter the rule name. Now, click plus add rule. Here, choose the field to validate and enter the alert message to be displayed. Now, click Continue. You can now see the overview of the rule. Then, click Save. Under the Custom Buttons tab, you can create custom buttons or custom links to perform specific actions for your transactions. You can create and execute them with the help of the Deloge script. In the Custom Status tab, you can create a new status apart from the ones available in the Zoho inventory. If you wish to fetch and view data from this application as well as other third-party services, you can use related lists. With this, we hope you have gained a good understanding of the different activities performed in a sales order in Zoho Inventory. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support at zohoinventory.com. Thank you.